this is Jan Kleinschmidt for JLOR. Today we're going to talk about oxidative stress in dairy cows. It's hard to attend a dairy meeting these days without hearing the term oxidative stress at least once, but very few people, nutritionists included, have a full understanding of the term. In the cow's body, there is a natural balance between the formation of free radicals during the normal metabolism of the cells and the internal antioxidant capacity of that animal that would prevent free radicals from accumulating and harming the cells. Free radicals are atoms, molecules, or ions with unpaired electrons. These radicals may have positive, negative, or zero charge. These unimpaired electrons cause radicals to be highly chemically reactive. In situations where the levels of free radicals exceeds the antioxidant capacity of the animal, oxidative stress occurs. High-producing dairy cows are prone to oxidative stress, and the situation can be exasperated under certain environmental, physiological, and dietary conditions. Free radicals can damage the cells by oxidizing the essential fatty acids of the lipid membranes, protein, and DNA structures. This will impair production and compromise the health status of the animal. Dietary lipids such as supplemental fat, oil seeds, and distiller's grains, if not stabilized, can be significant contributors to the load of free radicals in the animal, in addition to their negative effect on rumen microbial growth. Once critical structural damage occurs, antioxidants may no longer be able to repair the problems. Therefore, it is crucial that dairy producers understand the need for proper balance and the role that nutrition plays with oxidative stress. A cow with a large amount of oxidation occurring will have more tissue damage and it will have an increased cost of maintenance. This cow will be spending a larger proportion of its energy fixing and repairing processes in tissues rather than producing and reproducing. Dietary antioxidants, by protecting the dietary lipids from being oxidized in the final feed and digesta, can reduce the damage of free radicals to rumen microorganisms, the feed and digesta, and therefore reduce the damage of free radicals to rumen microorganisms and the animal. In dairy cattle, commercially available dietary oxidants have been shown to improve fiber digestibility in the rumen, as well as milk yield, fat, and the oxidant status of the animals. The antioxidant defense mechanism of the animal is also dependent on other dietary nutrients. Dietary deficiencies in selenium, copper, zinc, manganese, and vitamin E contribute to oxidative stress by compromising the endogenous antioxidant enzymes and the immune response of the animal. Feeding adequate but not toxic levels of trace minerals has been shown to benefit the health status of the cattle by improving the immune response and antioxidant status, leading to a better animal performance. However, not all trace mineral sources are equally available. Under dietary antagonisms, organic trace minerals have been shown to have higher bioavailability than inorganic forms. There are many causes of oxidative stress, for example, metabolic stress such as milk fever, ketosis, etc., disease challenges, both bacterial and viral, early first lactation, low or high body condition score can also elevate oxidative stress, environmental conditions such as heat stress and social stress increases oxidative stress, vitamin and mineral imbalances can be linked to oxidative stresses as well. Mycotoxin loads are among the most important feed-borne factors contributing to oxidative stress and lipid peroxidation. Clinical signs of oxidative stress can include low dry matter intake and therefore milk production, retained placenta and other metabolic issues, utter edema, mastitis, delayed first estrus, delayed first breeding, repeat breeding resulting from failure to conceive or from early embryonic death. Nutrition plays an important role in oxidative balance. Specific ingredients provide protection against pathogen invasion or exposure. Certain nutrients also play a role in oxidative balance by increasing tissue integrity, strengthening the barrier to free radical attack. A dairy cow's nutrition program can help maintain oxidative balance. The nutrition program can benefit from the proper balance of, of antioxidants, minerals, and amino acids. Talk to 
to your nutritionist about commercially available antioxidant products which may fit into your herds program, this is particularly pertinent if you are feeding fat in your TMR. Make sure that the vitamin E in your cow's program reflects current recommended standards. I balance my herds for 1,000 KIUs per head per day in the milking herd and 2,000 to 4,000 KIUs in the dry herd. Ensure that trace mineral nutrition in your herd is adequately balanced. I prefer chelated minerals. Ensure amino acids are balanced in all of your herd's programs. This is particularly true for methionine. Methionine can also be converted to the amino acid cysteine, which is used extensively by the immune system. At the barn level, watch vitamins, minerals, amino acids in your herd's nutrition. Reduce metabolic diseases in your herd with a comprehensive dry cow program. Vaccinate regularly. Control heat stress. Lower social stresses as much as possible with grouping strategies. Mycotoxins have no place in the modern dairy herd. Manage them accordingly. Body condition score regularly and work with your nutritionist adjusting your TMRs to reflect your herd's body condition score. This is Jen Kleinschmidt for JLOR because nutrition matters.